Hi everybody. In this video, I want to do a problem involving vector analysis with vectors expressed in terms of the unit vectors i hat, j hat, and k hat. Uh, equivalently, I could have expressed those in terms of x hat, y hat, and z hat. They mean the same thing. i hat is the same as x hat, j hat is the same as y hat, k hat is the same as z hat. Just as a reminder, these are unit vectors. Now, that doesn't mean they have units. In fact, it means they don't have units. The characteristic aspect of a unit vector is that it is a, is a vector of magnitude 1. All right, so i hat, or equivalently x hat, is a vector of magnitude 1 pointing in the x positive x direction. j hat, or equivalently y hat, is a vector of magnitude 1 pointing in the positive y direction. And k hat, or equivalently z hat, is a vector of magnitude 1 pointing in the positive z direction. We can build any three-dimensional vector out of combinations of these. All right, And so three such vectors are here. Vector a is 4 i hat minus 2 j hat kilometers. I can distribute the kilometers through. So for example, what a vector is, is a vector uh, of, of amount 4 kilometers in the positive x direction and negative 2 kilometers in the y direction, or that is uh, 2 kilometers in the negative y direction. All right, those are the parts of this. Um, let's go to vector c over here. Vector c uh, is a vector uh, composed of uh, 2 kilometers in the negative x direction and 5 kilometers in the positive z direction. All right, and I'll leave it for you to work out what b represents. All right, so here's the problem. Given these vectors, vector a, vector b, vector c, which represent displacements, let's calculate this new vector, which I'll call vector g, which is vector a minus 3 times vector b plus vector c. All right, all we have to do to do this is basically write out these vectors, combine the uh, x hat, y hat, and z hat terms, or in this case, i hat, j hat, and k hat terms, and go from there. OK, so here we go g vector is equal to, I'm going to put the a vector right here, and then I have minus 3b vector, I'm going to put that right here, and finally plus c vector, I'm going to put that right here. Okay, now what I can do, there's lots of things I could do. I could, I could distribute the kilometers in, or I could factor them out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out the kilometers and then just rewrite this. So here we go, I'm going to just write that right here. So let's look at that. I factored out the kilometers from each of the terms and put it outside. And here I've got my 4i hat minus 2j hat right here. I've got my minus 2i hat plus 5k hat right here. And then this, I've got negative 3 times 3 gives me negative 9j hat. And negative 3 times 3k hat gives me minus 9k hat. So I've got everything right here. All right, so what I can do now is combine the like terms. So I've got 4i hat here and a negative 2i hat here. So that's going to give me a negative, uh, gives me a positive 2i hat. And I've got negative 9j hat here um, and negative 2j hat here. Together those give me minus 11j hat. And finally, I've got minus 9k hat plus 5k hat, that gives me negative 4k hat. And I still have my kilometers riding along. All right, so that's the vector. This is, this is our g vector. We've done it. We've, uh, we've done this addition. Uh, what is g vector? Uh, well, it's 2 kilometers uh, in the positive x direction and 11 kilometers in the negative y direction and then 4 kilometers in the negative z direction. That's what this vector represents. We can calculate the magnitude of this vector in the usual way. Uh, the magnitude of vector g is the square root of the sum of the squares of the components. I'm going to write that right here. And remember, g without the arrow or g with the arrow in these absolute value symbols, both of those things mean magnitude of the vector g. Uh, I might as well just go and plug these things in here. One more step. Here it is right here. And the reason I wrote that out, I just wanted to show you something, right? The x component of vector g isn't just the 2, really it's the 2 kilometers, all right? So really, if I distribute this in, I have 2 kilometers i hat. 
minus 11 kilometers j hat minus 4 kilometers k hat. All right, so it's the 2 kilometers that ends up here. That's g sub x. I got to square that. The minus 11 kilometers, that's the y component. I got to square that. And then the minus 4 kilometers, uh, that's the z component of g, and I've got to square that. Okay, so if I perform all those, if I take those, square them, take the square root, I'll have the square root of 141, and then outside will be kilometers. I'm going to have kilometers squared, right? Then I can factor those out. When they factor out the kilometers squared, uh, there'll be kilometers on the outside. Uh, and then finally, if I wanted to write that as a decimal place to, to, to three significant figures, uh, that's going to be about 11.9 kilometers. Great. Uh, I'll just box up my results. One final note, I meant to write it up at the beginning. I was going to work with these as exact numbers. So if these were all exact, this would be my result. Uh, if I wanted then to round that to uh, three significant figures, uh, that would be my result right here. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.